Hi guys, have you wondered where you could get any kind of voiceover that you need for your video? Whether it's an American accent, a British accent, whether it's a young person, an old person, a female, a male. Well, guess what? You can now do that on CapCut with the text-to-speech feature. I'm gonna show you how you could do that. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on adding text, choosing AI voices, and customizing them. I'm also gonna show you the different types of voice styles that they have and how to use them. So stay with me and let's dive in. All right, so the very first thing you wanna do is make sure you're logged into CapCut so you can start creating. And the very first tab that we go to in here is Create New. Why I'm actually going to show you this as if you've never been in a CapCut before. So if you've never ever been in a CapCut and you just want to use this feature, this tutorial will really help you do that. So we just won't be picking up from, you know, halfway or whatnot. This will be right from the get go. So let's get into it. So the first thing you do is go to create new and you pick your template. We're picking the 16 by nine template here. Now what happens is it starts to load up as you can see at the bottom here, you have your timeline that's going to show up here and your display screen that's going to show up here. And all your icons to the left, your media files will be to the left under your space. How do you get your media files in here? Very simple. You would go to project and then upload. So if you wanted to upload your own videos, that's how you go about it. You go to project upload and then maybe from your computer, your Dropbox or your Google Drive, you can upload them straight into CapCut, which is really, really cool. Once you've uploaded them, you go into your space. And now under space, we are going to choose the media files that we want text overlays on. And in this instance, I'm just going to pick two. That's the first one. And I'll just pick another one here. Now we have two files that we are going to add text overlays to that we will convert to text to speech. Okay, cool. Now, how do we go about that? First off, we go to text to the left here. And I'm just going to add a body text. Very simple here. You can add any text you want. I'm just going to add a body text to make it quite simple. When you add your body text, you can edit it in here. We're going to say, welcome to Cancun. Woo! Especially at this time of the year in Chicago, that would be really nice to hear. And as a matter of fact, as a result of that, I'm going to move this file here because you can see the fan. This looks more Cancun-y. I would say. Now I'm going to add another file here. So this is our first file. I'm going to add another one that says, glad to see you. Glad to see you. So we have welcome to Cancun and glad to see you. Actually, I'll move these files here. And you know what? I'll actually just delete this. We'll just we'll we'll stick to these two over here. So I'm just not complicating things for you guys. So we have welcome to Cancun and glad to see you. These are the text overlays that we are going to convert to speech. And how do we go about that? We would go to welcome and go to the right over here. You see text to speech. You would click that. Pick your language. Which is what I'm doing here. And then. Once you pick your language, you look for who you want to be doing the speech overlay for you or what type of effects you want on the vocals, as you can see here. But I'm just going to pick a simple one here and let's stick to uh, on Welcome to See You, a British female. So you can see it's applying text to speech up here and you can see the percentage at which this is happening, which I think is really, really cool. All right, so the speech has been generated for the first one. So let's see what happens. A lot of times it comes out choppy depending on how your internet, you know, stuff is, but let's let's hear. All right, so let's see if we can hear it here. Hopefully you guys can hear it. I'm gonna play it. Can you hear that? <laughs> So you can hear that there. That's it. Now you see, glad to see you doesn't play because we haven't done the speech text to speech. So that's what I wanted to show you that if you do two, if you just, if you do two text files, 
you have to click each to be able to do text to speech. You see here, we only have it happening because we only did text to speech over here. And not under glad to see you. So that's something you want to take note of. I just wanted to put it out there because at times you might just put it in the first one and think you're all done. You're actually not done yet, not even close. So you would have to go into every text file to be able to make that change. But that's how you can simply use text to speech in CapCut by just simply putting an overlay in there over your media file, going to text to speech, having it rendering, and then bingo, you are there. <laughs> you get to pick a bunch. As you can see here, a bunch. You have lots of options. Paw Talk, Flurry, Effie, Adorable Girl. I mean, I saw Santa here. I mean, isn't that something? I saw Santa. Santa was here somewhere. You know, so you have all these options that you could use. So it's just not your voice. Or if you wanted to create a, a faceless channel where it's just your voice, these are the tools for you to use. I hope this was helpful. If it is, like the video, subscribe to our channel so you can continue to see helpful videos in digital marketing and creative tools like this. That can just make a big difference. Now, this is really now going to take it to a totally different level. We now have our text to speech, but they have now added a character, AI character feature that can actually be synced to your text to speech. And I'm going to show you that here as a bonus. I'm going to show you that here as a bonus. What you then do is go under text to speech and look for AI character. You see that? So I'm going to click AI character here and see all the characters that we have. We have all these characters to pick from and what happens is once you pick this character it syncs with the voice so let's just pick grace here i'm gonna move myself down here you click the character that you want and then you click add so it's generating the speech here with the character and what typically happens is the character shows up in the middle of the screen after that happens so let's see. There's our character now applying character at 90%. And the character has been applied. Now, this is amazing. Let's see. We're going to hit play and see what happens. You can see that. That's Grace talking now. As you can see. So that's how, of course, you're going to need to tweak it and do all sorts. But I just wanted to show you another thing that you could add from the text to speech. We're focusing mostly on text to speech here, but you can add an AI character to your text to speech. So I think that's a great bonus to know about. I hope this was helpful. If it is like our video, subscribe to our channel so you can continue to see helpful content that just makes life a whole lot easier till next time. Take care.